Guys, I'm super conflicted. Today is Tuesday, September 15th, which means two things. Number one, the new Taken King expansion is out for Destiny, and most of my clan will be playing tonight. Number two, Furious 7 is also out today on Blu ray, and the inner gearhead in me wants to rewatch the movie to, in a weird way, pay tribute to the late Paul Walker. <sighs> what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Do both! I could do both, yeah. Uh-oh, looks like Nvidia is doing some recalling again. This time around, it's for the Shield Android TV. More specifically, the Shield Pro version, so the 500 gigabyte one. Early reports are saying that the hard drive is causing issues with the interface of the Android TV box. The problem only affects a small number of units sold, but the problem could worsen over time. If you recall, when the Shield tablet had battery problems, customers could identify affected units with serial numbers. This time, however, customers can't do that. Instead, they have to look out for specific symptoms. Symptoms include the fast boot menu appearing during the 1.4 upgrade, or severe and persistent pixelation in all tiles on the top row of the home screen. Well, at least they caught this somewhat early. I mean, the device isn't even that old. If you believe your shield has a problem, contact Nvidia. They are committed to getting you a new unit right away. Qualcomm is really pushing the envelope these days. Quick Charge 2.0 gave us 75% faster charging times, and that was great. But it seems like someone at Qualcomm wasn't satisfied with that. So here comes Quick Charge 3.0. With 3.0, you can charge devices up to four times faster than conventional charging. It's 38% more efficient than 2.0. 3.0 uses an algorithm that allows your device to enable optimum power transfer while maximizing efficiency. We can expect to see Quick Charge 3.0 available next year's round of devices with certain Snapdragon processors. It's a few days before the Tokyo Game Show, so Sony decided to hold a press conference. A whole bunch of announcements for games like Yakuza 6, a Jack the Ripper DLC for Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Resident Evil Umbrella Core, but some of the bigger announcements were Project Morpheus being renamed to PlayStation VR, a PlayStation 4 price drop for Japan, new color face plates for the new PlayStation hard drive edition, and four new colors for the DualShock 4 including gold, silver, steel black, and crystal. The crystal one brings me way back to the PlayStation 2 days. I remember when see-through accessories were just all the rage. Mmm, see-through. What? It's time for pew, 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 pew. <laughs> The old rumor mill is churning with whispers of Samsung to introduce a foldable screen smartphone in January. Sounds like a big enough stretch, but I guess it would be kind of cool. The UK has convicted the first drone pilot. He was fined roughly 2,400 pounds for flying over a stadium during a game. The 42-year-old man is banned from purchasing, owning, and flying drones for the next two years. Harsh, bro. Turns out that the Xperia Z5 Premium only renders media in 4K. Everything else, like the Android interface, is upscaled 1080p. Come on, Sony. What's the point of having a 4K screen at all, then? None! That's what? If you're gonna do it, do it all the way. Then we can make fun of you even more. Or less. But more likely more. I don't know what I'm saying. The sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCI forum linked down below in the description. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shit. Where she shits, she shines. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Whew. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that's Susie. Always sitting in those shoe shine shops. But you guys know what Susie does while she waits for her shoes to get shined? She comments on our videos. Why would she do that, you ask? Simple. Our fans with benefits program. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on any of the current month's videos, and you'll be entered to win a prize. September's prize is a double whammy with the Corsair Void wireless headset. I said Void. I meant void. And the Corsair Strafe Mechanical Keyboard. This is open worldwide, so comment away. Heck, maybe throw in a hashtag yo dog or a hashtag ask NCIX to make things more interesting. Click here or down below for more info. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click here for previous videos. Check out our Twitter over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Oh, 
one last thing before I go, a big, big thank you to all the fans for helping us reach 700,000 subscribers. Stay tuned to the channel as well as we will have a very special 700k subscribers Q&A. So, yeah. Also, Keys was supposed to join me in celebration, but he's busy building a computer, so... If you'll excuse me, I now have to go figure out what I'm gonna do in regards to Furious 7 or Destiny, the Taken King. If I do one, I'll fall asleep and then not get enough sleep and do the other, I'll just be crying. <sighs> First world problems.